Hello everyone, this is Christine Barnett here at the Lake Erie Nature and Science Center. Today I would like to share one of my favorite stories of wildlife recovery, the bald eagle. America adopted the bald eagle, bald eagle as our national symbol back in 1782. And back then we may have had as many as 100,000 nesting eagles in the United States. However, as our country grew and thrived, eagles and the animals that they re relied upon for food uh, began to suffer habitat loss from logging, as well as land being developed for housing and farming. Now, even though eagles primarily eat fish and carrion, people saw these beautiful large birds as predators and a threat to their livestock, and many of them were even shot unnecessarily. Due to the species decline uh, and being threatened with extinction, Congress passed the Bald Eagle Protection Act, and they did that back in 1940. Um, unfortunately though, that wasn't the end of the eagle's decline. In an effort uh, to control mosquitoes and other insects, a new pesticide was introduced. Now, this pesticide, DDT, would then be washed into waterways uh, at whenever it rained and that would build up inside of things that the eagles like to eat like fish. Now as the eagles would eat those contaminated fish that would get into the eagles bloodstream and the eagles then were uh, laying eggs that were really really thin and when the eagle would sit on that egg to incubate it those shells would crack and break which meant not very many new baby eagles were being born. Now, as we became aware of the dangers uh, that were posed by DDT, the Environmental Protection Agency took a historic step. They banned the use of DDT in the United States. Now, in 1972, that was a really controversial move, uh, but it was the first step on the road to recovery for the bald eagle. Following the enactment of the Endangered Species Act in 1973, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service listed the species as endangered throughout most of the United States. Now, listing the bald eagles as an endangered species allowed for those involved in the efforts to save them an opportunity to accelerate uh, the pace of bald eagle, bald eagle recovery efforts. Now, those efforts were things like captive breeding, reintroduction of eagles into habitats where they used to live, and nest site protection during breeding seasons, as well as um, increased law enforcement efforts. Now, these conservation actions uh, taken by the American public have helped bald eagles make a remarkable recovery. The bald eagle was officially taken off of the endangered species list in 2007. And today it's estimated that there may be nearly 150,000 bald eagles in the United States. Now that is a truly amazing recovery story for the bald eagle.